530, a Metro bus driver remains on leave following a deadly crash involving a pedestrian. So this happened last week in Hyde Park, killing 87 year old Beverly Kenny. So right now we are working to learn more about the bus driver and Metro's policies and procedures as it relates to monitoring employee license status. So this comes after a report by the Ohio Department of Public Safety revealed that that driver identified in the report as Dion Willis was operating the bus on a suspended license. Brittany Harry is live with more about what she's learned. Brittany. Well, Trisha, we know that Metro is declining any on camera statements at this point, they say, because it is an ongoing investigation. But they did provide a written statement to Fox 19 saying the company has a two step process to monitor employee driver's license status. Meanwhile, we've learned this isn't the first time a Metro driver was involved in an accident that had a suspended license. This was in 2017 when a Metro bus collided with a motor home on Beachmont Avenue in Anderson Township. Scott Doyle provided these photos to Fox 19. He was a passenger inside the motor home. All I remember is things just moving really fast. My feet were crushed in the accident. Steve was injured and it totaled the motor home. When City Metro continually ignores the alerts that our legal system is giving it, they're creating more danger on the road. The fact that this has happened a second time is inexcusable. Attorney Justin Lawrence represented Doyle at the time. The case has since been resolved, but he says he's concerned to learn this has happened again with a different driver. Our elected government has decided that that person can't drive a car. And regardless of whether City Metro thinks that's a smart law, a dumb law or something else, they're bound to follow it. And if they're not following the law and people are getting hurt or killed as a result, they have to be held responsible. Metro says employees are required to self-report when there is a change in their driver's license status. The company also says it is working with a national third-party vendor who regularly provides employees license data from the Bureau of Motor Vehicles. The most recent report was received on January 4th of this year. Metro says it indicated Dion Willison's license was fully valid. Meanwhile, Doyle says he hopes this never happens again. Steve never got another motor home. I'm still in pain from this injury. And uh, and it seems like Metro has not learned their lesson about anything because obviously this happened again and there was a fatality involved, which is extremely sad. Now we have reached out to the Ohio Department of Public Services for information on Dion Willis's driving record. That information just coming in, so we'll be able to provide that update for you here soon. I've also filed the open records request with Metro just to learn more about Willis's status with the company, how long he's been with the company, if he's had any crashes, any other crashes with the company. And of course, we'll be able to update that information whenever that public records request is filled. It's unclear at this point when that will be. For Donald Reporting Live from District 2, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 now.